Hey guys, we're on our way to the beach. Uh, we started out about 7, 10, 7, 15 this morning. <laughs> and we are ready to go. So we got Blakely. Blakey, say hi. <laughs> hi, we're going on vacation. On vacation. Mother. Hey. Father. Hey. Sean. Well, yeah. Should have my hat on. <laughs> All right, so we'll be checking back in with you later and I'll be giving you a hotel tour. All right, we'll see ya. Make sure you tune into my Compass Cove uh, hotel tour. Um, it's going to be awesome. It is great in Myrtle Beach. It's like in South Myrtle Beach, close to Surfside Beach. Because um, right behind me over there is the Surfside Pier. Um, now the pier was actually damaged in the 2016 hurricane. And so they're actually rebuilding it right now. And on the other side, you definitely wouldn't be able to see it, um, is a second avenue pier. It's a pretty good ways away. So we've been out here, we're checking out the pool. We have to go get groceries and train our breakfast and lunch. Um, and so now we're just gonna get some pool time and now we're down here at the beach. So we're doing a little bit of everything. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and do some Uber Eats or DoorDash for some dinner and enjoy our first night here and definitely do some games tonight. Enjoy some beach footage and I hope it gives you some serenity like you were here at the beach as well. a jellyfish okay so true story about jellyfish I have been stung twice in Myrtle Beach by a jellyfish uh, once it got like stuck in my bathing suit top super uncomfortable and like stung me like a million times on the side and then the last time it happened I just took a step in and it grazed the back of my calf um, and it does really 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 hurt so definitely uh, have been stung by jellyfish for. Sean's here too, and little Bakley, and she got a new toy. It's really cute little like uh, pool toy that has a boat and stuff on it. More like $6.99 over at I Love MB store, which is pretty good. Uh, but yeah, so Myrtle Beach definitely watch out for jellyfish, um, and they typically will treat that. If you do get something by jellyfish, just go up to a lifeguard. Now there's no lifeguard stations up right now because it's the evening. 
Um, but if you do get stung, just go to a lifeguard and they will spray it with like meat tenderizer. Um, and meat tenderizer will like help that, um, help the sting with that. And you'll just be sore for like a day or so. But it definitely does hurt for sure. And they say it's like a bee sting, a little bit more than a bee sting, but y you'll live. So, but that was my jellyfish story. Guys, welcome to our official day one of staying at the beach. But we might want to say this day two. I don't know. We'll say probably say day day two. So we're gonna just have a great beach day, pool day, which is gonna be kind of like what we do like most of the trip. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of take some clips here and there and just kind of compile them all together. Um, it's a beautiful day. I uh, can't wait to enjoy it. Um, and last night, and I will tell you where we do for dinner. So last night we did like a Uber Eats for Carolina Ill house and it was really really good so definitely recommend that when you're around in Merle's Inlet type area so can't wait for a wonderful day um, I am gonna do a room tour <laughs> so I guess I better do it sooner rather than later so we have already slept in it and everything so just keep that in mind and we've like kind of destroyed it so just letting you know about a room tour umbrellas that's really the question <laughs> six people four umbrellas actually we probably need two more I was say. <laughs> <laughs> here they come <laughs> time on the pool the beach um, again not like really a lot to vlog because they're just kind of hanging out and playing and the kids are absolutely beat it's like six o'clock and um, we decided not to go out tonight and we're gonna go ahead and do another uber eats for Jordan um, and they ended up using seafood world so we got that uh, it was gonna take about an hour to get here so I just went ahead and made a pizza for the girls and then uh, we got ours ordered so it'll be here in about 20 minutes or so um, so I'm just here out on our balcony uh, and just having some relaxing time. Uh, I do plan on walking to the pier at some point, but you know, just sometimes with the kids and stuff, you just kind of run out of time um, to do everything you want to do. But I am about to go film my hotel tour um, after we get our food ate. Um, and so that, make sure you check out my hotel tour because I think that's going to be a really good video. Um, but here's how kind of it looks from up here. Uh, and if you notice our pier over there again it was destroyed in 2016 with the hurricane um, and so they've been rebuilding it it's supposed to be ready to go by like June 1st uh, but it doesn't look like it's supposed to be that um, also it's really fun to get up here and look and see if I see anything in the ocean like sharks dolphins something like that just like for example like what is that out in the water I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera something weird out there in the water Yeah, I don't know, hard to see. Memorial Day weekend, um, and so this is still during the social distancing um, from the coronavirus still. Um, so, you know, in the future, it may not be a big deal or anything, but still here, a lot of people are wearing masks. All the workers are wearing masks, as well as um, any food care workers are wearing masks, which we do appreciate that. Um, all of the uh, people here, the tourists, that are actually here are not wearing masks, but you're supposed to keep a six foot distance. As far as what kind of things they put in place, as they say, no more than 10 people gathered together. Um, and that would be on the beaches as well as in the pool. And the pool is supposed to be less than 50% occupancy. Um, 
and then in the elevators it says limit just to your party. Um, how are people doing with that? They're not really doing the elevator thing, even though they should, uh, but they are not really doing that. So if we're in the elevator, people just hop right on with us. Um, but in general, people do stay far enough away. Um, you can see on the beach right now, like you can see that there are groups of people, but see there are groups of like their own parties. So like, you know, this is a party, this is a party, this is a party, this is a party. So they're all separating really quite nicely. Um, you will notice there's like, the workers here, they're not breaking people up. Um, we haven't we haven't seen a single person get uh, broke up like for that, and no one's talked to them, no one's been kicked out of the pool. Um, so it's kind of more like guidelines rather than like hard and fast rules. Um, only thing that we've seen is people like get kicked out of chairs and umbrellas they didn't pay for. So I mean, that's, that's pretty normal. Um, the only other things is that there's a few pools that, that are being refurbished and remodeled, um, so that those are closed. Um, but other than that, that's all that's kind of going on here. So again, we are on the 16th floor, love our views. Um, we're gonna be eating from Seafood World, and then we're gonna be definitely doing some games. Um, so some games that we did last night, we did the virus game. It's a card game I like. We liked it pretty good, which is really funny because you know we're doing this for coronavirus, so it is the virus card game, which is fun. And then we also tried Stuff Happens. If you ever tried Stuff Happens, it is pretty good. It's where you like rank like things that could happen on the misery level. So that's kind of interesting. So. Having a great time. Um, can't wait to show you my hotel tour, so make sure you check that out. So this is the end of our day two. Um, so definitely check out day three and see what we're into. And I think tomorrow we are going to hopefully go out to a buffet dinner for tomorrow night. So see ya. Mom's napping. And the girls are watching a movie. God bless, be adventurous, and we'll see you next time. See you tomorrow.